Hi folks, welcome back. And as always, thank you so much for joining. So today we're going to explore degassing silicone another way. Now in my last video, what we constructed was a degassing chamber. We used the coffee can and a plate and we used a little bit of silicone. But to make this, what we needed was $200 worth of drill and hole saw. Now, many of us just don't have these kinds of things. So uh, this was one of those projects that didn't really sit well with me because of the expense required just to produce something from a coffee can. Now, what we did here is we poked a hole using that. And of course, then we sealed up the hole uh, to make a seal with silicone, a seal on top and a plate so that we could watch the air bubbles come up. And um, that worked great. Now, I love visitors to the lab because what they always inevitably do is leave behind an idea. So someone joked with me about they're surprised that I didn't somehow use a Ziploc bag to do this. I seem to be the Ziploc bag guy. And of course, there's the idea. So today, we're going to thin some silicone with naphtha. We're going to mix it up and of course it's going to be full of air. But we're going to leave it in the bag. We're going to use a vacuum cleaner, poke it down into the bag, and we're going to evacuate the air while still in the bag. Now in last week's video you saw me construct the inside of this inside the degassing chamber and it worked great. So we're going to try something new today and we're going to hope that it works. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is um, thin our silicone and I'm going to give you a few measurements. I'm going to tear the uh, Ziploc bag. I'm at zero. The weight of the bag should be considered it's 23 grams. And I am going to squeeze out roughly 100 grams into the bag near the bottom. And to that, I'm going to add one third cup of the naphtha. From here, I'm just going to mix this up until the naphtha has uh, thinned out the silicone, and I'll be back. All right, so I've mixed it up, and sure enough, uh, it's easy to see all the air bubbles in the uh, clear silicone. And this is what we don't want in our molds. So we're going to vacuum that out, and we're going to do it while still right into the... Uh, Ziploc bag. Now from here I think you have two options. Uh, one is that you can degas this straight in the bag, clip the corner and squeeze it out. But another option is, is if you place your article in here and then degas it, you can, this plastic will peel right away from the uh, silicone once the silicone has cured. Uh, the Ziploc doesn't stick to the silicone. So there's two options. Now the bag itself is very thin plastic, so if you just stick the vacuum cleaner hose in here, of course the, 
the bag is going to suck right into the hole. So to prevent that, I'm going to use this just a little kitchen strainer. But I have also tried with a, uh, a small wad of paper towel. Just something that's going to keep the uh, Ziploc from collapsing down onto the, uh, the bag. So from here, I'm going to start this. I'm going to seal this up the best I can. And I'm going to let it run for about five minutes or until I see that all of the air is gone. And then we'll be back. So after about 10 minutes, uh, I have evacuated uh, most of the air in this, and it was quite fun. And I tried to show you in one of the segments right before here, the air bubbles moving towards the, uh, the vacuum cleaner. It was almost magical. It was a lot of fun to watch. And what we have now is uh, virtually bubble-free silicone. Now, you will need to work this just a little bit more but it is without a device that you have to construct. You just simply whip out a Ziploc bag and you can uh, degas your silicone like this. Wonderful. A few little bubbles still around the edges. Uh, they were working to the edge. What they do is they move to the edge and then they whoop, go right up. All right, so there we have it. Ziploc degassing chamber. On the cheap. It works really great and it's a lot of fun. Um, kids would enjoy this watching the air bubbles so have fun. Uh, if you like this video uh, and you want to see more from uh, us well there's a little green ball that's going to pop up. You click that it's going to take you to our main channel and we have a good array of uh, videos arts and crafts do-it-yourself stuff to choose from all related to uh, sustainable living. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.